The 2S38 Derivatsi PVO is a new Russian self-propelled anti-aircraft gun. It is being developed upon the BMP-3M infantry fighting vehicle chassis and armed with a remotely operated turret with an array of passive electro-optical sensors to engage a wide array of airborne threats at close to short ranges. The novelty of the PVO is that it relies on 57mm gun, which is of a much larger caliber than the 30mm being used on similar type of systems. There are speculations that it will replace 2K22M Tunguska which is another class of weapon. The 2S38 platform is primarily designated to fight drones, cruise missiles and aircraft weapons in the close-in zone. It is also capable of intercepting rockets launched by rocket and missile artillery systems. And the anti-aircraft artillery weapon platform is also capable of striking ground targets. Tunguska is an area defense weapon with gun missile system. It is in service from 1982 and upgraded over time the most recent variant is 2K22M with 56E6 missiles. 56E6 missiles are also used on Panzer S1 system. In this video we will review 2S38 derivatsi you consider 2K22M Tunguska as analysis where it stands. On design domain. The Derivatsiya is mounted on the chassis of a BMP-3M infantry fighting vehicle, and like the T-14 Armada tank, the three personnel crew sits inside the armored hull and operates the unmanned turret remotely. Engine is moved to the rear of the vehicle. On contrary, Tunguska is operated by four personnel crew including commander, gunner, driver, and radar operator. The hull and turret of 2S38 are made of welded aluminum alloy armor. Front arc is made of composite armor and provides protection against 30mm armor-piercing rounds. All-round protection is against 14.5mm shells. Protection can be enhanced with add-on explosive reactive armor kit. Tunguska utilizes GM5975 chassis that is lightly armored, which only protect the entire vehicle from small arms fire and shell splinters. Improved armor of 2S38 means it is designed to move with armor regiments as mobile air defense complex, with passive reconnaissance and tracking of air targets. The vehicle is fitted with a 57mm automatic gun, which is capable of firing 120 rounds per minute, currently it carry just 148 rounds of ammunition. And even with smarter munitions, it is likely the anti-aircraft could deplete quickly, even when firing short bursts. The guided projectile's airframe has the cannered aerodynamic configuration, which is loaded and fired via the rifled barrel in the same manner as the dumb rounds. The projectile has four wings folded in the casing and controlled by the actuator in the projectile's nose section. It is fired toward the target at a calculated set forward point. In addition to the 57mm main gun, the Derivatsiya's secondary armament is an externally mounted 7.62mm Kalashnikov PKTM machine gun, with an ammunition load of 500 rounds to fight infantry. The PVO system has no radar station and features an onboard of electronic guidance and reconnaissance system with advanced fire control technology, which boosts its stealth properties. It can effectively spot targets in any conditions with the help of its TV and thermal imaging channels while staying radar invisible to the enemy. The optical and electronic target acquisition system can detect aircraft over distance of 12 kilometers and can identify an aircraft at 6.4 kilometers, it can engage target effectively at a distance of 5 kilometers, and maximum engagement altitude is 4.5 kilometers. Conversely, Tunguska with new radar system can detect target at a range of 38 kilometers and start tracking it at 30 kilometers, and then it is able to engage target with 30 millimeters guns at range of 4 kilometers, with a rate of fire of 4,000 to 5,000 rounds per minute. The 2S38 is powered by an UTD32T turbocharged diesel engine, developing 600 horsepower. The engine is mounted at the rear for better weight distribution. With the weight of just about 20 tons the vehicle has high maneuverability. There is a manual transmission with four forward and two reverse gears. The propulsion system provides a maximum speed of 70 km per hour on roads, a top speed of 10 km per hour on water, and a cruising range of 600 km. This armored vehicle has a hydro-pneumatic suspension, which can be adjusted to suit the type of ground being crossed. The 2S38 is fully amphibious. 
On water it is propelled by two water jets. For decades, the Russian armed forces have used either SAM systems or self-propelled anti-aircraft gun missile systems. But their capability is quite limited in terms of ground attack, and even after firing weapons against air threats, their replenishment time is too lengthy for the system to be redeployed. As it is evident from Syrian conflict where Panzer batteries were hit at a time when they ran out of ammunition. Accuracy is another factor, likewise programmable 57mm rounds are highly accurate, cost-effective, and can be used against both air and ground targets. The system comparable to 2S38 in the West is Sky Ranger anti-aircraft gun system developed by Ehrlich and Contraves, which was first revealed in 2009. Sky Ranger system uses external vehicle-mounted radars for target tracking, the use of radar system on 2S38 will depend upon tactics and battlefield environment. The possibility of 2S38 to replace 2K22 Tunguska does not hold as both are different class of weapons, Tunguska is a short-range air defense system, while 2S38 PVO is a close air defense weapon, with range of up to 5 km, it may replace ZSU-23-4 Shilka, which is quite old and still in service with Russian army.